Yo, what's up? This your boy Lazelle Sam, and we rockin' with the hip hop guru, man. Y'all make sure y'all tune in to my project I just dropped, Trench Baby. It's out on all platforms. You know, tune in, Six Running Gang, Lazelle Sam, let's get it. A special guest in the building, one of Chicago's rising stars. Welcome, Lil Zay Osama. You already know, man. Lil Zay Osama, six grand a gang in the field. So, for the people that don't know, tell us about where you grew up and how it influenced your style. At first, I, I when I was a kid, I grew up um, on 43rd Estate, um, 2005, and I was probably like eight years old. We moved out to projects, me and my family, and um, we moved to 64th and Rich, 63rd of Richmond, 63 24th South Richmond. And that's the neighborhood that I'm from, bad side of Cali. It's from 63rd, California to kids, and 63rd to 67th, the southwest side from San Chicago. You feel me? And um, really, we were just trying to make it out, you know what I'm saying? Just doing anything to get out the hood, you feel me? Like. And I had a talent. Like, since I was a kid, I always knew how to rap and sing and play with my voice and shit. You know what I'm saying? It was so unique. You feel me? Everybody was like, yeah, you, you got it. You know? So that motivation just kept me going, you know, to do music and get my family out the hood with it, you know? Absolutely. But, so um, who who did you look up to for inspiration to kind of get your style to where it is now? When I was young, I used to look up to niggas like 50 and Wayne and shit. You know, that's where the melodic shit come from, Wayne. You feel me? I used to walk around the house trying to make my voice vibrate like this shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, 50, you know, he was a gangster. You know, I fucked with that too. Yeah, them the two I looked up to though when I was growing up. Absolutely. Even with 52 as well, like he has his next Get Rich or Die trying about to go diamond as well. So that's good. Yeah, that's, that's, that's hard. Absolutely. Uh, well, your latest project, Trance Baby, is out now with features from G Herbo, Doughboy, Jack Boy, and Lil TJ. You also released a lot of music videos with it. Which one was your favorite to record? Um, no, probably. Like, which one was my favorite song or video? With the video to record? Uh, probably SBA, because there was a storyline behind it. It was. I mean, all my shit real, you know what I'm saying? But, like, it was a storyline behind that, you know what I'm saying? And it was, it's in the moment what's going on right now around the world, you know, so it was very relatable. You know, I fucked that one up. Yeah, I think that's actually my favorite song off the, off the mixtape. You know, you Appreciate get really that. personal into that one, and then you go real deep into pain, and, and a lot of people can relate with that. Appreciate that. So on Trench Baby, you went back and switched the style up from that versatile sound that you had in 2019 and 20, back to uh, the drill and pain. That hood, that, that hood Bible album, you know what I'm saying? Mm. That's 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 what it was sold to, so my versatility, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. That's, a, that, that's that was really full, you feel me? And some people fucked with it, some people didn't, you know? Cause my core fan base, they love that, that pain, that street Zay, you know what I'm saying? Talking that shit. So that's what the Trench Baby was about, that project was about, you know what I'm saying? Just getting back to that. You know what I'm saying? Getting back to my core, letting the people feel me again. Be, being relatable, being motivational, you know what I'm saying? Inspiring these people. Absolutely. So um, tell us about like how you get into that story side, telling with your music and being able to share that that side of your life that that you're that you're speaking about in the music. I mean, some people be scared to talk about their life and what really be going on. But me, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Everybody go through shit, you feel me? So my story, my story, my story real deep. I done been in and out of jail, you know what I'm saying? I done slept on floors, you know? I done been homeless, you feel me? All that, you know what I'm saying? My story, I'm just really trying to show people, you know what I'm saying, that there's ways around that shit, you know? And Absolutely. They'll get great later, man, you know? So 2019, 20, you, you had the single releases and all that. You were very consistent. You know, you dropped a lot during that time frame. Do you like the kind of single release approach or do you like the mixtape release approach? 
it depends on the song, really. If I got a song that I feel strong with about, like, as a single, I'm going to be like, yeah, this is the one. I'm going to tell all my people, like, yeah, this is the one. We got to get this out as soon as possible. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just moving fast, like, because it's, when I hear it, I know sure. it's it, you know? Yeah. So, what's your take on the current state of Chicago drill? What's my what? What, what, what do you feel about the current state of the music scene in Chicago drill and drill as a whole? I mean, this is where we come from, man. The slums, the trenches, you feel me? A lot of motherfuckers ain't from it. They just lie. Because some <laughs> people look at Chicago like, yeah, that's the drill city. That's the ooh, ooh. You know what I'm saying? That's how they look at it as a whole. So some people could act, some people could portray the image to be whoever they want to be to the people outside of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, see, you know what I'm saying? This is the life motherfuckers live, so I can't really speak too much on how motherfuckers speak on Chicago, you know what I'm saying? And the drill shit, you know? Because that's motherfuckers' life, for real. For sure. If you were to go back and give yourself some advice that you know now, what would it be? <laughs> shit, you can't be one foot in, one foot out on the music and the street shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay. If I knew that back then, man, I'd, 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 I'd have been blew up somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So uh, do you think too many people kind of get into it and kind of aren't able to get out of it kind of thing as well? That 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 That's possible. You know what I'm saying? It depends on who the person is, how they brain operate. For sure. So um, what advice would you give to younger artists about the music industry and the business side? Business is business. These niggas is not your friends. <laughs> That's the truth. That's the truth. Facts. And so, stay um, consistent, man, shit like that. Consistency, man, that's the biggest thing. You know, quality and consistency, and then you'll get to the top with hard that's work. Right. So if you were to work with somebody that you haven't worked with yet, who would it be? That's the Bobby Rich. Yeah, DJ Prophet. Young Thug, Roddy Rich. Uh Wayne. You know, niggas like that. For sure, for sure. So um what should we expect next? Man, I'm I'm probably finna just goddamn drop a deluxe to turn baby, man. They feeling that shit, so I gotta bounce back and hit it with another one so I can turn this shit up some more, you know? Okay. Hit it with a whole another body of work. They're like, yeah, this boy snap. Absolutely. All right, man. So, anything else with um, anything else that we should know coming up? Oh man, y'all just stay tuned for the videos, man. The projects that's gonna drop, man. Cause I'm coming all 2021, man. Big features, all type of shit, man. It's gonna get real lit. It's gonna get real hot around this bitch. You hear me? Absolutely, man. I appreciate your time today. You already know. I appreciate your time too, man.